immense damage very quickly. The storm only took a few seconds to blow in. The paneling from the roof was scattered across the floor. The windows were blown out. Outside, dozens of cars were badly damaged or destroyed. The result, as we see now, is catastrophic. Take a look at what was the body shop of Faulkner uh, GMC Cadillac Volvo. Just look at the damage here. Uh, the showroom here completely destroyed. What just happened? Oh. This is actually insane. Within moments, a mountain road gives way. Heavy rains have hit the Himalayan region hard, causing flash flooding and landslides. This is dramatic footage that essentially shows a road crumbling down as an entire chunk of the hillside just collapses. That there is the road, as you can see, uh, which is just seen coming down uh, in a massive landslide. which also witnessed landslides after which rescue teams carried out various operations evacuated more than 15 families from the affected areas but many tourists have now been stranded in the area i am 58 years old and i've never seen such a severe flood in my life the floods have caused a lot of destruction it happened so fast and it was over and every, all the damage happened within like 10 minutes. The village of Armada has been shaken to its core with the National Weather Service confirming it was more than just a storm that passed through Saturday night. The whole top of this building is gone. Don't know how much Dave's got damaged. His porch is up. Typhoon Infa is continuing to cause major problems in the Far East. It has now made landfall over eastern China, where more than 60 people have been killed, and around 300,000 people have been forced to leave their homes. Oh, 
No, se me va el baño. Uy, Dios. Mira. ¿Dónde? Acá también. Ah, su. Ay, Dios mío. Mira, mira. Mira, mira, ah, su. Tonight, the mayor of Cedar City has declared a state of emergency as intense flooding has left vehicles submerged in serious flooding. Uh, some of the other neighborhoods in this area had basically rivers just going down the street. People's basements were flooded out. Again, all of this happening super quickly as that rain moved in. California's drought drying up the second largest reservoir in the state, Lake Oroville. One look at Lake Oroville this evening shows the concern. The power plant will be shut down by August because of the low water level, and it could take months and a major rain system before it turns back on. Tim Howell has been coming here for 30 years. We come for a week every summer, so it's uh, lower than we've ever seen it for sure. And dropping by the day. But with water dropping on average one foot per day, the Department of Water Resources is still outflowing more than 2,000 gallons per minute of water into the Feather River. Why? DWR says it's required for critical water supply, fishery needs, and to prevent salt water intrusion into drinking water. Oha, bunu nasıl sıçramışlar? 